Hey everybody, uh, today something a little bit different. I know this is going to be a strange review for me, but I'm going to review this. It's the um, Ozio MK Retro um, Typewriter Mechanical Keyboard. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. Um, anyway, I'm a big fan of old time typewriters and keyboards and stuff. And uh, I've, I've always wanted for my writing to have something that is like an old <clears throat> original typewriter. And as you can see here, it's, it sounds and feels just like an actual typewriter mechanical keyboard. It has these circular keys. Um, it's mechanical, so it's really good for also for gaming as well because if you, for example, accidentally mash two buttons together like that, it will register both of them. Um, and it's just a really beautiful looking keyboard for one thing. It's not too expensive. I think it was around $90, $80, $90 on Amazon. Um, it has a very, very interesting uh, chrome finish here black at the same time and uh, like I said it has the retro feel came with this nice little armrest here uh, also come on, key. anyway um, as you can see here it's it's got these adjustable feet these feet here you can screw them up and down and stuff um, the front ones I believe are adjustable as well uh, one thing I have about this keyboard is it is very very heavy um, obviously you can't tell from the video but I can tell you this thing is solid rock salt. So when you put this down with those feet, it is not going anywhere. When you push on it and stuff, if you have, um, if you're in an intense Overwatch gaming session, this thing is not going to accidentally slide around on the table for you. Plus, those feet are grippy as as get out. So th those things stick to the uh, desk like you wouldn't believe. All right. Um, let's see what else do I have to say. Uh, so this has the Windows style. I've got it hooked up on my Mac right now. So if we click on here, you see there it's hooked up on my Mac. But um, so it's simply, you know, you just have, you just treat this like the command button on the Mac and stuff like that. So um, other than that, it doesn't really light up, but you don't really need it because, I mean, it's, it, uh, you can see these keys pretty well in a dimly lit room because of the silver. Um, these keys are actually removable. So let's see there, see they come right off and then you just put them back on. So you can actually replace them or if you need to clean them and stuff. So these keys are also raised up pretty high. It's kind of hard to see. So if you get food and stuff in here, you can easily kind of spray it out with some canned, canned air or something like that. Um, the only th issue I have with this keyboard right now is that the keys are very closely spaced together. For me, I like to have the keys spaced apart a bit more, um, but that's about the only issue with it. So I'm really, really impressed with it. Like I said, once you start typing and stuff, it uh, it does feel like an actual old time typewriter. I just expect the the um, sometimes I expect the, uh, the to hear that when I hit the return key here, there goes from an old time typewriter and stuff. But uh, so that is it. Um, Asio retro keyboard. Uh, if you're into this kind of thing, uh, I would recommend it. So I'm gonna give this a definite buy recommendation.